because if the kids see them working hard and they see that resilience in their parents, yeah, acts as a visual example. Wow. But again, they're too young to noodle it through. Yeah. So you need a coach or somebody that ex can explain that process to them. And I think that is really what's lacking in our society today as a whole, not just in the soccer community. Yeah. You can talk about youth sports across the board. You can talk about in school. You can just talk about society as a whole. People face an obstacle, they quit and they bag it. Yeah. Something new, they face an obstacle or two. It's not worth fighting through, they bag it. And maybe it goes back to what we talked about earlier. Maybe it goes back to the fact that people say, oh, you lost. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah. It's not okay. Yeah. Take something from it. Figure out why that obstacle's there. Try to figure out a way to overcome it. And then try again. See if you pass. See if you fail. If you fail, again, evaluate it. Reflect on it. See if there's something different or better you can do. And try again. But people will try once or twice. And then they're done with it. And I tell you, in this business, it doesn't matter if it's coaching or playing, if that's your mentality, if you lack that resistance or that resilience, you have no chance. Because coaches will tell you no, 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 day in and day out. You'll hear more no than yeah. you hear yes. You'll hear more of you need to do this better, you need to do that better, than you're going to hear, man, that was really good or that was fantastic. And you've got to be able to cope with that. You've got to be able to deal with that piece of it. So that word you used, resilience, is, is I think the ultimate word that players need to learn, that coaches need to learn, that our society needs to reestablish as the norm for us to get back to what we've always been, which is great. Yeah, and, and 